Hey guys, welcome back to program up and today in this episode we're gonna learn how can you install Windows 11 virtual machine in your new MacBooks with the Apple Silicon processor. So in this video, I'll try to guide you complete steps, all the steps that you'll require to install a virtual machine for Windows 11 in any of the MacBooks with the Apple Silicon processor, be it M1, M1 Pro or the M1 Max processor. So let's get into the laptop and let's try to install first of all Parallels. So Parallels is our first go to software for creating any kind of virtual machine in the apple silicon macbooks and it is by far one of the best softwares right now available for the macbooks with the apple silicon so this software is completely compatible and it's very easy and intuitive to use for creating any kind of virtual machine right now we do not have any another software that is available for the apple silicon macbooks so that is the reason we'll be using parallels so let's get into the laptop and try to install parallels and by the way we have already installed that so if you want to download parallels or to get a free trial of that the link is down in the description below you can go ahead and try to download parallels for a free trial or else if you want to purchase parallels for a student version so we have 50 percent discount running onto that you can grab a version for yourself just for 40 dollars per year subscription so that is really great for you if you're a student and if you want to use virtual machines so parallels is one of the best software that is right now available the link is down in the description below you can go ahead and try to purchase and install that so once parallels is installed we move ahead to creation of the virtual machine and using parallels it is one of the most easiest way because we have tried to test other softwares as well including vmware fusion utm virtual box but none seems to be such more feasible and easy to use as compared to the parallels so now let's get into the laptop and try to create a virtual machine so firstly we'll be trying to open up parallels so we have parallels over here you can see here that I have the control center I have already created a virtual machine for Windows 11 there is a red hat we have tried to test that out but we'll be creating a new virtual machine so I'll just click on this plus icon by the way if you haven't created till now any virtual machine so there will be directly a pop-up for that so you just have to click on this plus icon and go ahead to continue and now you have got an option over here so if you want you can directly create a virtual machine for Windows 11 you just have to click on this icon that you have for Windows 11 click on this move to continue and download and install Windows 11 prior to this we actually needed to download manually Windows 11 but right now parallels has included and direct download into it so we just need to go ahead and click on install windows so when we click over here it starts to download so now windows 11 is downloading and once it gets downloaded it will take some couple of minutes to get downloaded completely and once it gets downloaded it's very easy and very simple to just install that so we'll be holding for a moment and then we'll try to regain it so guys now you can see that it's completely downloaded and starting to validate so the downloaded file is getting validated and now the process is getting started so once the process gets started you have to do nothing it will completely set up the entire windows 11 virtual machine automatically by its own and you have to do nothing over here so it will just get started and it will do all the setup for the files and installation will be done it will take a little bit more couple of moments to get it installed completely but you have to do nothing over here so there is no manual intervention required to create a virtual machine for windows 11 and that is one of the best part over here of parallel software and that is the reason why i recommend this right now for any of the apple silicon macbooks and if you have to create a virtual machine so this is really simple over here and let's wait for some couple of moments so it's getting ready so that's it installation is complete so click to continue we'll just click over here and it's ready so now your windows 11 virtual machine is completely ready to be used and you can try to use any kind of a software into it so this is completely active and you can go ahead to use any kind of software into it it's really easy and really simple as compared to vmware we also tried to use that because vmware is a free version right now for the apple silicon and that is in preview version by the way so we actually try to use that either but when we try to install windows 11 in vmware we can find some bugs into it the process is not that simple as compared to the parallels so that is the reason we don't recommend you to go along having a vmware fusion version right now that which is a preview build 
for creating any of the virtual machine you can you can try to test out that for any of the linux versions but not for windows specifically so if you want to create a windows virtual machine so this is one of the best ways where you can create windows virtual machine so guys this is how you can create windows 11 virtual machine in your new macbooks with the ample silicon processor and if you've got any more doubts any more queries do leave that down in the comment section below we'll be happy to read that and reply it to you and if you liked our video please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel meet you in the next episode till then goodbye